whether it concerns food safety, energy saving, water management or any other issue, scientific evidence is crucial when delivering effective public policies. But often, policy makers and scientists speak different languages. The policy cycle also has a different rhythm and requirements to the research cycle. As scientists, uh, we do lots of researches and at the end, the result of this research can stay in the books. What I've noticed is everyone works in isolation. It is very necessary to bring scientists and policymakers together. How can we bring these two worlds together? First of all, we need to understand and trust each other. You need science to inform policy and you need the policy, uh, policy makers to work well with scientists as well to create a good working relationship, to create trust and to develop informed and, and sustainable policies for our countries. That's why scientists and policy makers from 45 countries gathered together to discuss these issues at a unique event organized by the European Commission's Joint Research Center, together with the African Union and the International Institute for Applied Systems Analysis. I think one of the challenges in this area is that researchers do not fully appreciate or understand the context within which policymakers work. I think any opportunity that helps to um, clarify how decisions are made and the role evidence can have in um, improving decision making is always helpful. What we need to do is to interact. We need to get out of our silos, out of our boxes and work together. Between different scientific disciplines, between uh, uh, different policy disciplines and also between policy and science together. And the world will be run by synthesizers, people able to put together the right information at the right time, think critically about it and make important choices wisely. Every member of European Parliament should have a pairing with a scientist. Uh, so our period is five years. Every year we should uh, select another uh, scientist. Collecting the knowledge and getting this network has to be done. The Water Energy Food Nexus was the theme of the 2016 Evidence for Policy Workshop. The Nexus is an example of a complex system that needs a holistic approach by both the policy and scientific world. Water needs energy to be generated. Um, energy has to do with water and then food has to do with energy. And so food depends on water and food depends on energy. So in the end, it's, it's all about multidisciplinary approach to researchers. Through masterclasses and group work, Participants learned new working practices, skills, behavior, and methods to better connect science and policy. It's very important to listen first, right? It's important everywhere, but it's so important to understand which are policy needs and then adapt the messages. I think if there's a, a single message that I can take home, it would be to invite all stakeholders, scientists, policy makers, and others to participate in discussion as early as possible. Try to set the agenda, or at least inform the agenda in as open and positive a way with a high level of trust as possible. My take home message will be uh, the necessity of building a new partnership, not only between scientists and policy makers, but also with the community. Because we are doing this, we are all working for our own communities. I think that both sides have a lot to learn from each other. It's time to stop the excuses, it's time to start doing something because we have enough evidence. There is no excuse for scientists not to package information properly, but there is also no excuse for policymakers not to understand the information that scientists are providing.